Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. My name's Glenn and today I'm going to be sharing with you a parcel that I've just received in the post and that is a bunch of brand new Voltex binders. Now that sounds like a really boring topic but it's important to me and I thought well if it's important to me maybe it's important to someone else. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my new binders and what I plan to do with them. So let's get right into today's video. Before we get into today's topic, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone, as always, that has been liking the channel, subscribing, to all the people that have joined the Facebook group F1 Sports Cards and that are commenting, sharing, trading, offering advice, even just the people that are commenting on other people's posts because that builds a community. Also, to all the new people that have joined me over on Whatnot, I think I'm on like 170 followers already, which compared to some of the other Whatnot uh, sellers on there, that's really good. So thank you to all of you out there. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, and we did a Whatnot live stream last night. And it was uh, it was really good fun. I actually enjoyed it. I felt very relaxed because I sort of know how to use the platform now. I'm starting to get used to it. Um, I did my, That was my third live stream. So hopefully by the time I do my 10th one, it'll be very very fast fluent and uh, obviously I still want us to have banter along the way I don't want it to just all be sow 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 that's not what I'm about so um, right let's move on to today's topic and today we are looking at <laughs> binders so I have needed some binders for a couple of weeks now because we've had flagship come out chrome uh, obviously all the I've, I collect one of every card for each of the drivers. So, therefore, I've filled up their binders really quickly. And obviously, I need to um, fill that, I need to buy new binders for them as well. So, what have we got here? So, uh, you guys know that I like to use Volt X. So, when Volt X release like a new color or something, I always look at it and think, hmm, how could I use that for one of my sets? So, to give you a prime example, I actually purchased this green one and I want to get a uh, Senna with the Senna helmet in the middle in yellow because then it will look like the Brazilian flag if you know what I mean because it's green with the yellow in the middle and and that will be just my Senna folder so I'm going to have like the um, Senna set in here which is 200 cards and then obviously there's the odd um, like question of the day Senna cards and uh, there's like a few other Senna cards that I want to put in here so that's going to be my Senna binder um, the reason I'm saying all this is because I get asked so many times, like in the Whatnot live stream last night, people are like, what are them binders behind you? These ones just here um, are my driver binders. So these are the ones that um, I put in my Lewis Hamiltons, Max Verstappens, Charles Leclerc, Lando Norris, and George Russell. They're the drivers that I, you know, tend to collect personally. So... Uh, what's annoying about that though is obviously when you're running a store and obviously you're known for selling cards uh, for me to sell an uh, uh, I don't know say like George Russell cards when a new set comes out I need to pull that card like potentially about five times because if you imagine obviously I'm trying to complete say Chrome 2022 so I I need one of every card to complete an entire collection plus you've got the inserts plus you've got all the other stuff as well as that i then have a driver binder so i need one i need two or three of every george image so now i need four because to complete the set plus to fill this george binder and then i like to take those out as i go along as and when i pull parallels or uh checkered flags or obviously the mini diamond set now that's just come out so so i'm but i'm burning through space really quickly so i needed to buy a bunch of volt x binders um this blue one this blue one is probably this is going to be my second george russell binder because i've i'm getting close to filling that one up and i'm actually going to replace the charles leclerc one this one behind me is red with just the standard black zip 
which um, looks quite nice actually still. Um, so, but the uh, the binder itself was used before I started using it, and it's a little bit mucky, I suppose. Um, so I just thought, oh, I'll, repl I'll take all the cards out of it and I'll put them back into a brand new binder. And uh, Bolt X started doing this uh, promo release where it's uh, red and gold. And I thought, ooh, I love a bit of gold. <laughs> so I've got a couple of them for Charles Leclerc. So these are going to be my Charles Leclerc binders. Um, and then I've got these big uh, 12 ones. So uh, you guys know I like to complete full sets. We've just had Flagship come out. We've just had uh, Chrome. And we're probably going to have another Sapphire coming out. Now, I like to put Sapphires in blue because the set is blue. Um, the purple I probably should have done in the new TurboTax because they all their graphics and images were sort of like a purpley feel to it. But this is the same as the Lewis Hamilton binders that I've got behind me. It's purple slash pink which matches with his uh, helmet there, look. <laughs> Color code that. And then I've got a red. Uh, this is the red and gold. So I don't know, I might put chrome in this one, flagship in this one, and then this sapphire whenever sapphire comes out for this year. The next, the other set that's due to come out is flag. Uh, the next set that's due to come out is F1 Lights Out. But obviously that's a very small set. So I've actually got tons of space in the uh, F1 Lights Out binder that I have behind me. So I might not need to buy another one for F1 Lights Out. But yes, yeah, so I've had to buy like a ton of binders. So what I'm going to start doing is because I've had loads of people message me. I've had lo loads of you messaging me lately, just saying, Glenn, what are in them binders behind you? Um, and a few people in the WhatNot live stream last night said, you know, well, oh, when are you going to show the cards off in that and then binders? Um, and I don't know. I just, I, I just never thought that people would be interested in seeing what's in here. But uh, what I'm going to start doing is, obviously, you guys have seen recently, I've been opening up a lot more product and sharing it on, obviously, this YouTube channel. I still want to do that because that's the most popular content I do. But then once a week, what I want to do is release a video just showing off these uh, collections of each driver because it actually contains one of every single card from every single set of each driver and I've also put them not only in date order of when they were released but also number order in the set so if you was to pull up Turbo Tax 2020 where it all started uh, this is George Russell's very first card in that set this is his second one this is his third and it goes in number and date order so I had to do a lot of research uh, into the exact release date so then you had the sticker collection and then it goes on to uh, I believe Chrome from there yeah Chrome 2020 and then obviously Sapphire and then you've got 2021. Now George oddly enough is the image that's printed the least. Uh, I've managed to fit every single set that's ever come out of tops of George Russell's cards in this one binder and I think I've still got oh I've got I'm at the last page now. Uh, so that's one binder for the last what two or three years worth of sets. Uh, whereas, say, Lewis Hamilton's, I've had to buy three different binders. Max Verstappen, I've had to buy three binders. Charles Leclerc, I've had to buy two binders. And now Lando Norris, I've got my second binder as well for him. So George Russell is like the least printed tops product, uh, image driver, sorry, in the entire collection. So uh, I don't know. That may hold some significance if he becomes a world champion later down the line because there'll be less images of him out there in the wild um but yeah i'm gonna start showing these off once a week so make sure you obviously subscribe to my channel make sure you tick the little bell notification so you get notified when i go live if you want to buy some of these vault x binders yourself i do have a referral link in the description down below if you use that link if you're from the uk you can use it and you can get 10% off your first purchase. So you can buy these Vault X binders. I believe these ones in particular are about £22. By the time you take that 10% off, you may even pay just under £20. That's cheap. If you look at anything Ultra Pro, which is um, uh, quite an expensive brand, I would say, uh, their binders are about £45. So these you could get for almost half the price. So uh, I would definitely recommend Vault X. If you're not from the UK, you can go to Amazon.com, purchase any Vault X products you want. So whether that's sleeves, uh, team bags, semi-rigids, top loaders, 
binders. Um, you can go to amazon.com and use the code Hammonds. Again, that's in the description down below and you will get 10% off. So if you think Amazon's already cheap and they offer really quick delivery, well, I'm offering you another 10% on top of that. So uh, make sure you use that link in the description down below. But I will start doing videos once a week of me showing off, obviously, what's inside these binders and just doing a quick talk of them so uh yeah if you guys are interested in seeing that make sure you subscribe make sure you like you can also follow me on any of my social medias instagram facebook twitter tiktok all with the name hammond's hobbies make sure you follow me on whatnot so that you can follow with me when i do my live streams uh, last night some of the cards went for like one pound and and i thought they were absolute bargains we even sold some uh orange autograph cards last night for 20 pounds so you know real real bargains to be had on that whatnot platform so if you want to be a part of that make sure you find hammond's hobbies on there and follow me uh, so you get notified when i go live that's it from me guys i'll see you on the next one bye for now